looking to improve on your game going into this season? Uh, just being more of a leader, be more uh, vocal, and uh, working on tackling and uh, you know being more physical out there. Uh, just trying to help my teammates. Uh, I feel like first few years I was trying to you know just get more comfortable and uh, trying to be myself. Uh, now I feel like I can take a next step and uh, try to help out my other teammates and uh, just take on that role. Mike, how's it gone for you now coming to this role as like the full time starter at safety? How have you embraced that role? Has there been any adjustments or anything like that here at training camp? Uh, I love it. I mean, I, uh, I got the confidence now. I mean, I, I always had the confidence, but uh, I love the uh, team and the coaches trust me. And uh, just been working all four years to try to get this spot. And uh, we got players all over. I mean, we got a lot of players. We got a lot of competition, um, each every position. But I feel like now, I feel like I'm uh, ready for it, definitely. How does your approach change going from being a guy that's, that's in a rotation to suddenly going out there and, and being that, that starter, right, and, and playing a, t- a ton more snaps? Yeah, I mean, you got to be in shape. Uh, I mean, you got, I played some games fully uh, last season. Uh, like you said, I was a rotational player for most games, but uh, some games I did play when uh, Jay White or Twan was out or whatever, or I played nickel. So I did have some, uh, you know, some history of that, playing full snaps. So uh, I feel like just playing all 17 games plus playoffs, I uh, feel like I can definitely up for it. I just got to stay in shape and uh, you know, just keep communicating and just keep, keep going. More opportunities to make plays on the ball, right? But also at the same time, Most it's definitely. like, you have to, in your mind, at a split second, determine if you want to take some of those chances or not, right? Because a lot of times you have to deviate from the scheme to make that play. Like, what's it like right. mentally having to kind of flip that switch? Right. I mean, sometimes you got to know, uh, depending on who you're going against, down the distance, where you're on the field, uh, certain play calls, you can do that. Uh, I kind of, depending on what it is, I kind of try to bait the quarterback or try to take an extra step, get an extra step, get an extra read, try to. Uh, make a play on the ball, so it is kind of kind of tough going against other opponents, other quarterbacks, depending on the quarterbacks. But uh, I definitely think I can, you know, still keep it at that level. And in your time, like you mentioned, you played at nickel, lining up at, at that big nickel spot. How did that prepare you for this? Uh, it prepared me really well because uh, nickel in this system kind of, you know, playing like a kind of like another linebacker. Then you got to play like a corner also. So uh, all yeah, all trades. So uh, yeah. I'm, I feel like it helped me out very well. Uh, playing strong safety now, so uh, definitely in the box. It uh, helped me get in the physical and uh, you know in the run game and things like that. So I definitely love that. Is, is physicality something you might want to show a little bit more of? We've seen you out there like getting into the receiver to break a play. Is that part of your game that maybe you'd be able to expand on a little bit more in this role? Yeah, for sure. As I tell her, uh, definitely want to be more physical, uh, be more point of attack. Uh, just get more hands on and uh you know create more havoc uh you know i always i always had the ball skills just trying to be more physical hitting the weight room getting bigger and bit stronger so i feel like i'm up to for that task we were told the other day that the defense has a quota for the number of turnovers uh, for each practice i think you guys hit it today how's it feel yeah. you know just reaching that quota and you're the ultimate bull hog of this team all the coaches say it but to yeah. see everyone you know getting in on it it's got to be fun oh it's real fun with defense creating turnovers getting hands on the ball it's, it's great to have. Uh, I mean, we all our players on defense, linebackers, defensive backs. We all trying to get hands on the balls. Uh, we trying to uh, harp on that. You know, just creating the ball, creating turnovers, and uh, to get hands on the ball. And uh, psh, we had, we like you said, we had a lot today. Uh, I, I've been struggling. I've, I haven't had one in a little while, so they be trying to take off on me. I gotta, I gotta keep up. So what the NFL has developed into a passing league. The nickel has almost become a base defense where you're playing five right. defensive backs. What's that like now? <laughs> uh, it's, I like it. Uh, I mean, like you said, it's a passing league now, so you kind of have, have like a skill guy, like the five uh, defensive backs on the field, more defensive backs. Uh, so at this point in, the, in uh, football now, so you got to have those guys on the field and because uh, they like to throw pretty much every play, especially like we got it on our, our side of the ball with Tom. They like to throw the ball a lot, so. Definitely got to have some DBs on the field. Oh, for sure, for sure. It started out uh, first period actually with the one-on-ones, the competition drill. People was getting rowdy and stuff like that, so I kind of think that set it off. But think like when we had a uh, live period, I think that's what set it off. Definitely. 
group of weapons on offense. Like you had it last year too, and obviously there's been some changes, but you throw in some new guys in the mix like Russell Gage and Julio Jones. They have moves that you've seen in games before, but practicing up against them every day has got to bring out um, yeah. a, a new element to your game. What have, yeah. what have you learned from those two guys? Oh, they, they bring a lot to us. Uh, I mean, great to have them. Great to have them on our side of the ball now. Uh, I mean, like you said, we got Julio, Hall of Famer, one of the best receivers of all time. Uh, he brings physicality, he brings everything. He got the routes, he got the speed, he got everything. Then you got Russell Gage just running some crazy routes that you can't even guard. It's crazy. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm pretty much most of the time guarding tight ends or whatever. But I feel I feel <laughs> I feel bad for those corners. I feel bad for them, especially the other other guys on the other teams. They got a lot of work. You have some new teammates on your side of the ball, too, in the secondary with Logan Piano. What's it been like working with them? It's been great. Uh, I'm glad to have those guys with us. Uh, they bring, uh, I mean, they vets. Keanu been here for, what, six years? And Logan been here for nine, ten years. So good to have that experience with us. And, uh, you know, they help us out a lot. Help me out on the field, off the field. Uh, just talking to them really well. And uh, great to have them. Good to have that experience.